Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to do a little short video, something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to talk about the new Steam in-home streaming that has recently been um, released by Steam. I'm quite excited by this because I've always liked the idea, especially when um, NVIDIA released their gaming handset, the Shield. Because um, I've always liked the idea of being able to lie in bed because I'm a lazy bastard and sit and play my games when my PC does all of the main you know, work of it and then just streams it simply to the handheld. What I didn't like about the Shield though was A, it's in video only and B, at the time I did actually have um, a GTX 580 but unfortunately that was not supported so not only would I have to spend £300 on buying the Shield I would then have to have spent another three, four hundred quid buying a new or newer NVIDIA graphics card I'd be able to support it. So that was a bit disappointing and kind of um, dampened my spirits a bit there but then I heard that Steam were working on doing something similar and so I thought I'd make a quick video because I've been testing around with it this morning and uh, it's quite promising actually. So basically all you have to do is make sure your Steam is fully updated. Go into the settings and then you have in-home streaming. At the moment there's nothing there because I don't have my laptop on. When I s I'll switch to my webcam in a minute to do a side-by-side a -side comparison to show you how well it is. Um, so you can limit what kind of speed you've got, you can limit the frame rate if need be, and you can also set the resolution. Um, I've just set it for 720p because that's what the native res of my laptop is, so I don't really see the point in trying to stream anything higher. You can stream higher, you can stream like 1920 by 1080 and then it would automatically downscale it to fit the res of the laptop. Um, I don't really see the point in that, I just thought well I'll just resolution to 720p anyway. So um, so yeah, so give me a minute and I will set up with the webcam and we'll do it side by side with the laptop. And right guys, here we are, and as you can see now, I've got both PC and laptop running next to each other, just so you can see a kind of side-by-side -side comparison with the two. Um, apologize for the webcam quality, probably won't be the best, but it'll give you a good idea, you'll be able to see the difference between these two. So as you can see on, or you might be able to barely see, but I've got Steam Sends open and my PC is now there, and what will happen is, um, so when I view my game list on the laptop, it will show every single game that I have installed on my main PC. So I'll be able to simply click on a game and instead of having play now, it says stream. So I'll be able to click, just click on stream and click play. And then what will happen is it will now load on the desktop PC and the laptop. It's always a bit jarry to begin with and bear in mind I am recording all this at the same time. Um, so just let that load up. And as this is my my game PC and my lap Yes that's a PC, no it's my mouse and then my laptop mouse. So I'm using the laptop mouse obviously to control it so as you can see, I'll move it. See the two cursors, not much of a delay. So press any key. And because uh, when you're actually in game, I've not played much of Bioshock Infinite, um, so I'm kind of right at the start really. But I'll be able to walk around peacefully and not be disturbed or anything like that. And hopefully, my webcam picks this up okay. Obviously, you press F6 on the laptop. It gives you some fancy needles and graphs and some numbers in here. It says capture at one three six six dot seven s cross seven six eight resolution, latency ninety one point two five milliseconds, five point six six milliseconds input. So ping time is around about twelve. So if I use the laptop, so I can move around. I'm gonna move around slowly. So as you can see, there really isn't that much of a delay and according to the laptop it is running at more than 50 frames a second on the laptop so and this game is maxed out on my computer 
to give you a, to give you an idea, I, my PC is um, it's an i6 4670K Haswell i6. Did I say i6? I did say i6. i5 4670K, uh, clocked at 4.5 gigahertz, 8 gig of RAM, and uh, an AMD 7990. So and. Another myth as well is that both laptop and the PC are both running Windows 7. I'm not using Steam OS at all, so you don't have to use a, um, Steam OS to be able to use the streaming service. And as you can tell, there really isn't much to it. And the laptop is running wirelessly. I am not. I am not connected to the network using a an ethernet cable and I will just quickly prove that as I hold it up no cables connected apart from the power it's the only one that's connected and like I said it is running really quite well actually I know you probably won't be able to tell because my webcam is only 30 frames a second and obviously so is YouTube but It'll give you an idea just how how well this works considering it's, it is still only in an early beta stage so I really do hold up high hopes for this being very very effective and very well performing and, and like I said it was incredibly easy to set up as well I, I barely had to do anything I just had to um, log in on both um, profiles on my for Steam, and then just simply load it up on my laptop, make sure that it's connected okay, and then just click run, and everything went fine. So um, yeah, so that is my kind of quick tutorial to set up and quick overview and first impressions. So my first impression, I am very impressed, and I am looking forward to testing this out a little bit more and to lie in bed and play my kind of top tier games um, while being a lazy bastard so yeah thanks very much for watching guys and I'll catch you later